What's up YouTube? Today I have a trip to the thrift for you guys. It's the holiday season and I better find some amazing steals and the thrifts today. I know Thrift Town has a 30% off sale so I'm going to go check that out and then check out some other thrift stores nearby. If you guys did not know about the 30% off sale, I apologize. But I did post about it on Twitter so it's your fault for not following me. If you do not follow me on Twitter, go do that. I'm going to leave my Twitter handle somewhere on the screen, probably in this lower section right here. Quick little outfit of the day slash recommendation. First, I have this EXO hat right here. It's a little EXO snapback. Then we got this Hype Windbreaker. Then we got this tank. You got to be comfortable when you go thrifting. Uh, shorts, like I said, you got to be comfortable when you go thrifting. These are 10 deep shorts. Sorry for pointing at my crotch. And then uh, right here, we have some holiday socks, some little festive socks. Excuse my hairy legs. But um, basically, I could not find the matching sweater for these socks, and I was really pissed about it, and it actually kind of ruined my morning. So that's upsetting. Hopefully, I find that sweater. If not, RIP. I was going to wear this masterpiece right here, this little festive, beautiful piece of art right here. But it makes me look like an escaped convict that was celebrating the holidays in prison. So I decided not to. And as you guys can see, it is raining, it is pouring, but your boy's not snoring on these deals. So let's get into it and see what we we can find one of the first finds I find is this vintage Red Sox starter jacket right here Boston Red Sox I'm not really a big fan of the Boston Red Sox per se but I'm really not a big sports person anyways but it's $15.99 and 30% off of that pretty good condition there's some fraying right here but not too bad found this little jacket right here and if you look on the inside there's a fucking treasure map I'm gonna follow this to the pot of gold and become rich and never ever do anything again damn i wish you guys could feel this this feels like microfiber this thing is so soft like it's super taxed but i kind of want to buy it just because it's so soft and i could like use this as, like a pillow cover or something this is a pretty nice corduroy button up right here it's super thick it's 10 bucks it says small but i'm pretty sure it'll fit it looks a little bit bigger than a small so we'll see i'm really surprised to see any 49ers gear in here that's not sold but then I look at the price tag, and I know why. It's because they're trying to charge 30 bucks. 49ers on the back. It's not in horrible condition, but it's not really in great condition either. And for $30, it better be fucking brand new with tags. Uh-oh, Air Force Falcons, Reebok. Man, look at this Western masterpiece right here. $60, though? Damn. I'm not normally a fan of Nautica or anything, but this jacket is sick. Check out the back. That's fucking dope. Not $30 dough. Uh-oh, got some official Intel apparel right here. As you guys can see, it's always better with Intel inside. Personally, all my computers have Intel processors. So I saw a different brand that had a jacket just like this. It felt exactly the same. Same material, it was a little cheaper, and it was from a different company. So while I was looking for it, I went back to go find it in this rack of godliness. And then I found this masterpiece. It's really dope. Vintage North Face vest. Super sick. Medium. Fits perfect. Just tried it on. The North Face. As you guys can see, super thick. Will definitely keep me warm. Good for layering. Man, I am stoked. It's 16 bucks, but with 30% off, it's going to be like $10. So not bad at all. I found the other jacket, like that other one that I showed you guys. It's from Weatherproof, which I actually have a vest from them. Super high quality stuff, man. Weatherproof makes some really dope stuff. This thing is super soft. It says Fleetwood right here. And then if you guys look at like little details like that, where it has the branding on the zipper, I think that's really, really dope. Super sick. This is really comfortable, but the sleeves are a little baggy, so I'm not going to be able to pick this up. This right here is softer than your mama's vagina. Fuck, fuck. The royal blue Sean John jumpsuit, though? Damn. If this wasn't XL, I would actually get this. This thing is dope. It's like a burnt orange quilted lightweight Nike jacket. This thing is fucking sick. And on the back, it has the Nike logo right there. It's a little dirty. As you guys can see, there's some stains on there and then on the sleeves and on the bottom as well. But I think I'm going to try to clean this. It's a little small too, but I mean, it's only like $4 after the sale. I highly doubt this is the exact same school, but River Ridge High School, shout out to my boy Donald Terry, who used to play basketball out there. Damn, this highlighter yellow polo lightweight jacket would be super dope. It's only $8, but it's an extra large and I highly doubt it's going to fit me. I'm also guessing there has to be markings on here somewhere because there's no way they're going to only charge $8 for a polo lightweight jacket in good condition. I don't see any stains, but I'm going to do some in-depth investigative research. After some in-depth research, I'm pretty sure I found a cum stain. I'm like 90% sure. You don't need a black light to tell if that's semen. What you know about them Ben Franks though? Hey, this was here when me and Paul Cantu came. I wonder if the one with the Arabic writing is still here as well. Oh shit, it's here. Puma is not popping off in the thrift stores at all. This right here is a dope, simple button up. It's got these like, little designs embroidered all over it and it's pretty sick but it's a little bit big on me even though it says size medium it feels a little bit bigger than that so i'm not gonna be able to get this i'm so tired of seeing copyright infringement 
from Granada. Is it like Canada or something? Shout out to the Style File and Name Brand one time. Look at this adorable, peaceful ass crew neck design. Damn, this is dope. Looney Tunes fleece right here. All embroidered and stuff right there. Super sick. Man, this is fucking raw. This would be so dope, but sadly, it's a small. It's $15.99, and on top of that, you have a pretty bad puncture wound right here. How sad, this would have been a dope find. Here's some pretty sick Raiders gear. Of course, it is taxed, $20, which is kind of sad, but man, this thing is in perfect condition. It's super dope. Here's a guest crew neck, this is all embroidered. Sadly, some of the threads are coming loose. I'm legitimately sad that this is the worst fitting crew neck of all times. It's too short, the sleeves are way too baggy. Man, this is depressing. And what's cool is that all of these are actually sewn in. So these are all like little patches. That's sick, man. I really wish this would have fit me. This is kind of some creepy ass lighting. Anyways, I found out an amazing gem of information at that last thrift town. It's actually 50% off today for yellow tags and it's 30% off everything else. So one of the pieces that I got was super overpriced and I was like really on the fence about it and then I was just like, nah, I'm not gonna get it. Then the lady informed me, hey, you know this is actually 50% off instead of 30% off, so I copped it. And then when I was up there, she actually tried grabbing my camera, which if you guys know, I have a pretty nice camera. I have a DSLR, it's a Canon 60D. I love my camera with a really nice Sigma 18 to 35, 1.8 lens, it's absolutely immaculate. And uh, she actually tried grabbing my camera and she was like, oh, is this yours? Uh, yeah, this is, you, I didn't find this amazing quality brand new Canon at the thrift store, are you crazy? If I did, I would be amazed and I'd be so happy, it'd be like my best thrift find yet. Anyways, that was cut short because the light turned green and I had to focus on driving because I'm in the city. And uh, yeah, I'm here at the next uh, thrift town. Me and Paul Cantu found some heat in this thrift town last time. So hopefully we find some heat again. Last time we rolled up here, Paul Kinsu was like, man, they always have this sale today sign. Knowing goddamn well they don't got no sale. And then they had a 50% off sale completely randomly. And now they still have it. And they have a 30% off slash 50% off yellow tag sale. Yeah. And this dope Adidas windbreaker lightweight jacket. It's got Adidas stitch in the back. All these separate little stitch pieces right here. The letters are a little dirty, a little tattered, so I'm probably not going to get it since last time I got a really, really, like, perfect condition Adidas Windbreaker. Shout out to my boy Charvis of the Dallas Cowboys, though. He's, like, the biggest Cowboys fan ever. And also shout out to Paul Cantu, of course, because he's also a huge Cowboys fan. Here's a pretty sick, simple Nike pullover. It'd be, like, four bucks. Not too bad. It's in perfect condition, but I don't think I'm going to get it. This is some, like, Miami Vice type of shit. I do not get how this is sportswear. Section. Sportswear. I eat cupcakes. Here's like an extravagant DuPont racing or NASCAR racing crew neck. As you guys can see, it's got the signature embroidered all along the side right there. And then on the back, it's got this fancy little graphic going on. It's actually pretty sick, but it's an extra large, so I'm probably not gonna cop it. Here's a pretty nice jacket for the rain. It's like a Gore-Tex material, waterproof. It's got ventilation in the armpits. It's got the Naked Juice logo right there. And the price is Bob Barker right, it's six bucks, but it's 2X, so there's no way I'm copping that. You guys know I don't really rock flannels, but I would definitely cop this Dickies flannel if it did not have shit stains right there. Kinda sad. Damn, all over metallic jacket though. Here's a pretty dope Alpine Audio and Columbia collab jacket right here. Here's a pretty cool Looney Tunes long sleeve pocket tee. You might be wondering yourself, where is Tasmanian Devil? Well, he's right there. I don't know if he fell or what but pretty dope, it's all embroidered too. So I'm sad to say that I found nothing in that one and that's kind of a letdown because I just found such cool pieces at least to me in the last one and they were like really, really good deals. So then going to this one and finding nothing is kind of a letdown but I'm trying to keep the spirits high because I feel personally when you have a good attitude towards surfing, that's usually when you find the best heat. If you go in with like a negative attitude or you don't know whether you're gonna get anything, then usually you find nothing. But when you go in like, man, I'm gonna find some fuego today, that's when you find the fuego. So, anyways, I'm about to hit this next thrift town. It's the last of the thrift towns for today. And then I'm gonna go hit up Eco Thrift because supposedly that is like the thrift store in Citrus Heights at least. So I'm gonna go do that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. So on the way to thrift town in uh, Fair Oaks or Citrus Heights, wherever the hell it is, I'm not quite sure. I saw this Goodwill. It looked like a decent sized Goodwill. So you gotta check it out. So Paul Cantu, if you're watching this, I know you remember the Goodwill that we went to. This one's not quite as nice overall, but I really like this industrial design right here. Look at this. Classical. This is a fancy Goodwill. 
what it's like the Hard Rock Cafe of Goodwills. I'd probably get this jacket right here for the winter. It looks really warm, it's pretty thick, well made. Sears Men's Store, however, this is like a nappy fur collar or like a single dreadlock just sewn to the hood. Look at this buffalo bear fur on the inside. This thing is really nice. I bet you this will keep real warm. Well, I guess you can't take video at that Goodwill. Um, just try to explain like certain offices or certain like establishments you can't do video in, uh, which sucks. And then she like walked up and she was like, uh, excuse me, sir, are you uh, taking a video? And I was like, uh, no, bitch, I'm just pointing my camera at the fucking clothes and talking for no reason. Of course I'm taking a video. This looks like a pretty nice thrift town. Let's see what we find. Vancouver Canada jacket right here. Shout out to the boy, the style file, and name brand one time. This looks a lot bigger than the medium, but it's kind of dope, actually. It's got this, like, quilted inside. $7.99, not too bad. So I was going through and I saw this. I was like, oh, it's just a plain red coach jacket. No big deal. And then I go through and I'm like, damn, look at that patch game. Patch game unfuckwittable. It's actually pretty dope. Some of these are kind of like coming loose. Um, but I think that's pretty sick. And if this fits, I might have to cop this. This right here is a super dope official leather NASCAR jacket. Look at this thing. NASCAR next show. All down the sleeves. On the back, DuPont. And then right here, all down the other sleeve. This thing is sick. It's 35 bucks, but it'd be about 30% off that, so not too bad. I mean, a little expensive, but I mean, it's leather, so that's why. 49ers crew neck, pretty dope. And this is like a little patch thing going on. Some kind of felt material, it's pretty sick. We got this like perfect condition Dodgers hoodie. This is Coca-Cola on the sleeve. The other sleeve doesn't have anything, but this thing is in perfect condition. Uh-oh, shout out to the Puget Sound. If you're from Washington, you already know. Uh-oh, shout out to Lil Bibby. Sacramento Kings, pretty dope actually. It's in good condition, but of course it's in Sacramento, so they're taxing 35 bucks. I'm not super big into football, but since I am from Tacoma, which is south of Seattle, Seattle Seahawks, this is kind of weird. I don't know what this is. If you guys know, let me know, but it's like this uh, rubber material. I don't know if it's for like the rain or what, but it's in pretty nice condition. 10 bucks, so it'd be like seven or eight. New England Patriots crew neck, as you guys can see, it's all embroidered in and stuff. This seems to be like everyone's favorite team in Washington, I swear. Tell me why this girl at Thrift Town that checked me out did the same thing as the girl at the first Thrift Town. And like, as she's like ringing me out, she grabs my camera. Whoops, just uh, knocked my thing back. She grabs my camera and she's like, oh, oh, whoops, is this yours? Yes, it's my camera, of course. You guys don't have a Canon 60D just chilling, used, donated to Thrift Town. All right, YouTube, so I'm back in my house and that is going to conclude this trip to the thrift. I have a lot more coming because over the last like two weeks, I basically did like three trips to the thrifts and I didn't really plan on how I was going to cut them up or anything. But basically I just kept going to the thrift store and kept going and kept going and kept finding heat. In this trip to the thrift I found four things and I'm going to show you guys those four things now. The first thing may not appeal to everyone but if you guys are from Washington you guys will understand or from really anywhere with like cold weather. Basically this thing is super super thick. Overall it is a pretty nice like quality corduroy button up. It's really really sick looking. I like it a lot and I'm going to use it for like the cold weather. And yeah like I said this may not fit like everyone's style but to me this is just going to be really dope for when I move back to Washington and I can layer for like winter and things like that. I can definitely use this as a nice warm button up to layer over whatever I'm wearing and then have a jacket and hoodie over that and just like 15 layers to keep warm. Alright, the next piece, I don't care who you are, this is a dope find. This right here is a North Face Down Puffer Vest. This thing is in perfect condition. There's literally not a single mark on it. This thing is like brand new. Super, super sick. I looked online to see about how much these go for because I don't really look at North Face vests. Usually I just wear North Face rain shells. And they don't have this colorway anymore, but in this style of vest, which I do not remember how to pronounce it, these things go for 150 to 160 bucks brand new. I got this thing, which is in perfect condition for $11 at the thrift. That is a super good deal. I was really, really stoked about it. And overall, just an amazing vest to layer with and keep warm during those winter months. This next piece I'm super excited about is another piece of winter wear. I cop a lot of winter wear just because, like I said, I'm from Washington, so I'm always preparing for the winter and I have so many t-shirts and tanks and things like that that there's really no reason for me to cop those. I still look in those sections, but the first section I go to is always outerwear. But like I said, this piece I'm super stoked about. One of the commenters in one of my videos actually stated that they saw this really cool Nautica jacket and then I described it to them and they were like, yeah, that's the one. And I'm sorry to say, if you're watching this, I actually did cop it. He said they were charging 44 at the time. When I went, they were charging 30, which is still a lot of money. 
but it was 50% off yellow tag, so I got it for $15. The white is not too damaged at all. It actually looks really clean. And personally, what I like about this jacket is the embroidery on the back. As you guys can see, it says Blue Water Challenge. And then it's got these uh, degrees or coordinates. I'm pretty sure degrees or whatever, maybe coordinates, I don't know. It's got this down here and then it has this big N for Nautica. It does have a hood under this, which is super nice, but I'll probably never use that. And it's yellow on the inside. So I just really like the colors on this jacket. I think it's super sick. The buttons have little details on them, like so. And overall, just a really dope piece that I'm stoked about picking up. Now the next piece I was super excited to get, and uh, I was gonna cop it anyways, but it's this red coach jacket right here, as you guys can see. And then it's got all these patches on the back like I showed you guys in the video. Some of them are coming loose. And these are all like Sacramento patches. But what's really dope about this coach jacket which made it like a must buy for me was when I reached in the pockets and on the right one there's only one patch but it's another Sacramento patch. And then on the left one patches galore. Like all these different Sacramento patches which I just thought was super sick. And uh, yeah I'm definitely going to take advantage of this and just kind of basically finish this patch jacket for him. I think it's cool you know. I'll add some patches to the back and uh, make a cool little patch Sacramento jacket like it'll just be Sacramento themed and it'll just remind me of my time that I did spend living here in Northern California A. So anyways that is it for the pickups not many vintage finds here except for the vintage North Face uh, but I did get some really cool cold weather gear. I have tons of thrift finds and I'm excited to show you guys because I have been finding some heat at the thrifts. I actually just went thrifting yesterday and I found some more fire. And I'm just super excited about thrifting. I just have like this thrifting high right now that I cannot get off of. Every time I go like two days without thrifting, I start having like thrift withdrawals and I'm like, man, I need to hit the thrifts again and see if I can find some more deals. Anyways, it is super hot, so I'm gonna sign out and have to say goodbye. The only reason I even have this hoodie on right now is because I'm about to go check the mail. As always, make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your favorite piece was in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Keep living the star life. And like I've said before, if you do cook drugs, make sure you use Pyrex glass. You don't want to use that knockoff, weak-ass glass shit. You want to use that quality Pyrex glass, okay? Make sure you use that shit when you're cooking your meth, okay? Don't use that cheap shit.